What's going on guys, Billy here, and DJI just released a new firmware update for the Mavic 3 and Mavic 3 Cine. Now this version, 01.00.0600, really only addresses one major issue, and that is the speed in which the GPS on the drone was able to obtain satellites. This has been such a big issue because when flying the Mavic 3, you would spend an extended period of time waiting for the drone to connect to satellites to then establish its home point while it was sitting there on the ground. Now this quickly became problematic for really anybody that owns a Mavic 3, it doesn't matter if you fly once or twice a week, once or twice a day, or all day, every day, having to wait for those satellites to connect to your drone to establish the home point for an extended period of time really can be quite annoying and bothersome, and it could actually ruin your shot if you're in a situation where you've got to put your drone down and get, you know, set up really quickly to catch that boat that's chasing by, well, you gotta wait for the home point to set and you could potentially miss that shot. Now, you might be saying, why don't you just take off without the home point setting? Well, sure you can, the drone will let you, but just know that without a strong GPS connection and without a home point set, you can't fly above 100 feet. And also if you lose connection, you could potentially lose your drone as it doesn't know where to fly back to. Now to dig a little bit deeper, this issue is not isolated to just the Mavic 3 or just the Mavic 3 Cine. It's also not isolated to a specific batch of drones that DJI manufactured. And finally, it is not isolated to a specific region or area of the planet where there just might not be the best GPS signal, the best GPS connection. Pretty much anybody and everybody that owns a Mavic 3 or Mavic 3 Cine has said that they are experiencing slow connection to satellites here with their drone, with the Mavic 3 or Mavic 3 Cine, as I mentioned. Now, I've taken this drone specifically basically all over the place, all up and down the East Coast from Maine to Rhode Island to upstate New York, all the way down to Florida and the Carolinas. Of course, I do a bulk of my flying here in Philadelphia. I've also taken it over to the West Coast in Las Vegas and Arizona, and really, no matter where I fly, I'm experiencing this slow GPS connection, and in some areas, it takes longer to connect than others, so it really is environment-based. Now, probably the worst location that I've found is any major city. The more densely populated an area is, the harder it'll be to acquire a GPS signal. This is definitely the case here in Philly, which we'll see in just a few minutes. Now, before we move on, I just want to mention one more facet about how establishing a home point works on DJI's drones. It's the same across the board. It doesn't matter if you own the Mavic 3, the Mini 2, the Phantom 4 Pro, the Air 2S, the Inspire 2, all of these drones work very similarly. So once you establish that home point for the very first time, if you then land your drone, swap out the battery and turn the drone on in the same location, in the same general area, it's going to establish its satellites and home points a lot faster than it would have on that very first flight because it's already been flying in that area and it's got all this information saved saved on the drone inside of its cache. So for example, with the Mavic 3 here, if we go and try to fly and it takes us 10 minutes to establish our home point before our first flight, if we land the drone and swap the batteries out, it's then going to establish its home point on that second flight much faster. Okay, so now let's cut to the chase, the real meat and potatoes of this video. Does this update actually speed up the home point connection process? Well, on the older firmware version, version 01.00.0500, it took me about one minute and 15 seconds to finally establish my home point. You'll see me pacing here as I wait in anticipation, but quite honestly, a minute and 15 seconds is not that long to have to wait. Now for reference, that clip was captured on an open golf course, which is probably the best case scenario for establishing your home point and connecting to satellites faster as there was really no obstructions around the drone, but a minute and 15 seconds is not all that long to have to wait to then start to fly. I mean, I've kind of adapted my workflow because this drone is a little bit slower connecting the satellites to show up to where I've got to fly, start the drone immediately, set up my remote controller, change some settings, and then by then I'm pretty much good to go. I've never had a situation, except for a couple of times, where I've taken off and the home point hasn't been established yet. Now I wanted to head out and try one more location on this old firmware version just to see if I could get a longer boot up time or a longer connection time to satellite. So here I am right in the middle of Philadelphia on one of the side streets. So in contrast to the golf course, this is probably the worst area that I could have tried to take off from with the buildings and trees in the way. Now, spoiler alert, I didn't even end up letting my drone establish a home point here because it was taking so long. I actually just ended up turning it off and packing up because after 15 minutes of waiting around, the drone was was still bouncing around between a different count of satellites with the maximum number, I believe being around 10 or 11. Regardless, waiting for 15 minutes to take off is 
absolutely ridiculous, and it drained about 10% of the battery while sitting there on the ground. Now for a bit of context, the reason that people are complaining about this so heavily is because the older DJI drones would connect to satellites and acquire a home point almost instantly. I mean, with the Air 2S here, I was able to turn the drone on and establish my home point here in the city in only 46 seconds. This is in the same exact spot that I tried to launch the Mavic 3 from, where after 15 minutes, it still wouldn't establish a home point. Even when I tried to launch the Air 2S from the open golf course area, it locked onto satellites super fast and established its home point in just 27 seconds, almost double the speed as when I was in the city, but that is to be expected. This further adds to the frustration as older drones were rock solid in acquiring satellites, but now this brand new drone in the Mavic 3 just doesn't. So now the moment that you have been waiting for, does the Mavic 3 after the firmware update connect to satellites and establish its home point? faster. Now remember, if you were to keep feeding the drone batteries when taking off repeatedly in the same location, it would acquire satellites no problem time after time. So this go around, I came back after having updated the firmware and flown in different areas. So I conducted that first test on the old firmware out here on the golf course this morning at 9 a.m. And here I am at 2 p.m. trying again. Unfortunately, the time to establish a home point was basically the same. In fact, it might have been a few seconds longer. Now, waiting for a minute and 30 seconds is really not the end of the world. Again, I usually set the drone up first, and by the time that I have my remote set up and everything in place, I'm pretty much ready to go. You guys are probably more interested in the city situation, though, where the drone, after 15 minutes, still wasn't able to establish a home point. Well, the good news is that the home point was established, so I didn't have to waste my time and just give up, but I did end up waiting for a about four minutes. Something to mention is that the drone was able to connect to 10 satellites right out of the gate, which is promising. It just took a little bit longer to actually set its home point. Now, sure, this is a lot faster than on the older firmware, but remember the Air 2S was able to acquire its home point almost instantly in this same very spot. You know, today I've been bombarded with texts and calls, messages and emails asking me if this firmware update finally fixes the Mavic 3's GPS issue, because let's be real, this is like the final issue that DJI has to iron out with this drone before it becomes basically perfect, at least in my book, right? So people have been messaging me, giving me their opinion, saying, hey, I just updated and it's working. It's a lot faster. Or, hey, I just updated. And it's actually working a little bit slower. So like, here's my final verdict. Does the update give us a good step in the right direction? Yes. DJI's acknowledge the issue. They're trying to make fixes. But is this the end all be all fix? No, it definitely isn't. The issue is still here. It still exists. But DJI is at least working towards a better future for the Mavic 3. I can say that like the home point, like getting the home point and establishing the home point is still the same general amount of time. But it is able to get up to six, seven, eight satellites faster than it was before the update. So again, like, is it an end all be all fix? No, it's not, but it's a good step in the right direction. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on this update if you owned the Mavic 3, because it seems to be location-based, as I mentioned. I mean, remember, I'm out on the golf course in the open area, it connects pretty quickly, but then I go into the city and 15 minutes later, I still don't have a home point. So let me know your thoughts down below. I hope to see DJI continue to work on this in the future. And yeah, that's all. As always, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.